Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Prophetess Nikki with another word of encouragement for you. I wanna thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for all of your continued support and what God is truly doing through our channel here. I am so grateful to each and every one of you. I am so blessed, glory to God, for all of your positive words of inspiration, all of your genuine prayers. Thank you for all of your acts of kindness, your purchasing of the book. Oh, God bless each and every one of you. I love you. Great things are coming in for you. I love you. If you tuned into our channel and you are not subscribed, hit that red button to become part of our family here and don't forget to tap that notification bell i pray that god's face will always shine upon each and every one of you may the lord continue to bless you and prosper you in every area of your life glory to god listen there are people that have laughed at you people of god oh god these people have laughed, these people have rejoiced, and these people have celebrated at your downfall way too soon. You have people that are watching your life like a hawk, people of God. There are people, glory to God, with binoculars on. Oh, I hear your Holy Ghost. Oh, glory to God. There are people, oh Jesus, that are watching you with binoculars on. Glory to God. They are watching your life so intense because they want to see what they did to you, how it has affected your life. Glory to God. And you know how it has affected your life with none effect. Glory to God. With return to sender. Now these people are going to see you blessed people of God. It is your time to be blessed. Glory to God. Some people thought they had the power over you. These people had the nerve. They had the audacity to think that they were the God in your life. Glory to God. They thought. Oh, they thought. Yes, they thought. If they didn't bless you, if they didn't help you, people of God, if they didn't support you and give you the opportunities that they knew you deserve, it would never happen for you. But the devil is a liar today. Your enemies lost their minds for a moment, just like King Nebuchadnezzar did. These people rejoiced, they laughed, and they celebrated at what looked like will be your demise, but God allowed it to look like just what he thought it wanted to look like to you. Yes, God allowed these people to look at your life, and he wanted the enemy to look at your life. And he wanted them to perceive exactly what they thought it would be. Nothing because God was giving these evil hearted people an opportunity to get out of the way so your blessings can come in people of God. They laughed at you and they rejoiced and they celebrated at what looked like would be your demise while God was in the heavens laughing at them because God knew what the outcome would be for you. God knew that your outcome would be great. God has hidden your outcome from these people because God was not going to sit around people of God and allow these spiritual le leeches to suck the blessing, to suck the blessings of God out of your life. God knew, oh God, he knew you wouldn't look like anything that you had been through. Oh, when you come out of this, people of God, you are not going to look like anything that you have been through. Glory to God. Instead of these people praying for you, instead of these people extending their hands, oh God, to lift you up, they made a conscious decision. Did you hear that, beautiful sons and daughters of the Most High God? Instead of these people praying for you and extending their hand to lift you up, they made a conscious decision to leave you right where you were because they thought that was where you would stay. Glory to God. Oh God, your blessings are getting ready to blindside your enemies today. And what your enemies need, you are going to be the solution to the problems of the people who have persecuted you. Oh yes, glory to God. You are a solution to the problem of your enemy. So you stay humble and you walk in the spirit of forgiveness, people of God, because God is going to use you, oh glory to God, for your enemies today. These people are going to look so foolish 
When it's all said and done, people of God, oh, yes, they are. Whether they want to, whether they believe it or whether they think it or not, they are going to look foolish in the end. It was all a part of God's plan to bless your socks off. God has so many ways to bless you. And this is just one of the ways that God has chosen to bless you, people of God. Oh, God. God is a just God. And don't you ever forget that. Don't doubt that, beautiful people. God is a just God. Even when it seems like he's been unfair, he's just. He's just. Even when it seems like God is being unfair to you, but he's not. Oh, he's working it out for your favor. Oh, yes, he is. So allow God to turn things around in your favor. God see things that you don't see. God heard conversations that you did not hear, people of God. Oh, yes, he was at those round table discussions. Oh, yes. When these people were talking about you, when they were plotting and planning on your demise, God was right there. You may not have seen it, but your God saw it, people of God. His eyes are in every place. Oh God. And now is your time to be blessed. And your enemies, the people who mocked you, the people who laughed at you, they are going to see it. They will live to see it. God is not going to always allow chaos and trouble to hit your life. Did you know that? Oh God. God is not people of God. He is not. He is not going to always allow chaos and trouble to hit your house without allowing favor to knock at the door of your life. Did you hear what God said to you today? God is not going to always allow chaos and trouble to hit your house without allowing favor to knock at the door of your life. Glory to God. These people didn't believe you could do it. Oh God. These people didn't believe you could do it, people of God. They didn't believe it. But guess what? They don't have to believe it. But it caused. It is going to happen anyway. They didn't have to believe it. God said it's going to happen. For some of you, it seems like a lifetime that you've been waiting and waiting on waiting on your change to come. Your change is here. Embrace the change. It takes time for greatness, beautiful people. If you're going to do anything great in this earth realm, while you are here, it takes time for greatness to come. You have something great on the inside of you. And God is not going to allow the enemy to cause you to abort this breakthrough in your life. You will carry the dream. You will carry your destiny full term. Glory to God. It will not be aborted. You will deliver in time. Some of you are well overdue, people of God, but you will deliver the dream. Glory to God. People tried to give you the responsibility to fix things, oh God, in their own life. Did you know that? People tried to give you the responsibility to fix things, oh God, and people that God didn't tell you to carry, release it. Don't pick up another insignificant person the enemy sends your way to take your harvest because this is why these people are coming. They're coming to take your harvest, people of God. You will not come out of this empty-handed. You will not come out of this empty-handed, people of God. Whatever you are in today, you will not come out of this empty-handed. Glory to God. So keep fighting, keep pressing your way, people of God. There will not be rest for the wicked. There will be no rest for the wicked, people of God. These people will feel more pain than you ever have felt. Oh God, they will be stripped and these people will be forsaken. You know why? Because that's exactly what they did to you. The Bible cannot lie, people of God. Whatever a man sows, whether it's good or bad, that's exactly what they will reap. Glory to God. These people have sown bad seeds in your life. And they are going to reap more than what they have done to you. But when your enemies fall, because they will fall, they are going to fall, people of God. 
when your enemies fall. Don't you dare gloat. Don't be happy about it. Don't rejoice and don't celebrate it. Forgive because God has forgiven us of so much in this life. And standing before God, when we pray, oh God, we have to be clear that we hold no awe against our sister or brother. Or it may not feel good to forgive. Oh God, what they did to you, it was wrong. Yes, it was. It shouldn't have happened to you, but it did. And God wants you to release it. There is power in forgiveness. Forgiveness is for each and every one of you, not your betrayer. Oh, glory to God. Forgive these people because God has forgiven us for so much. And when you do, in doing this, you are going to heap coals on the head of your enemies and the Lord will reward you. Did you know that? When you forgive, you will heap coals on the head of your enemies and the Lord will reward you, people of God. So let people laugh. Let them rejoice. Glory to God. And let them celebrate what looks like your downfall. Oh, glory to God. But God is going to bless your socks off right in the face of these people. It is your time to be blessed, people of God. I love you in the Lord. Stay blessed and stay connected to God. I love you until next time.